Hi, this is Justice with Learn Build Box. I'm really excited about this tutorial, and I think you guys will be too. Um, we're going to learn how to create a health bar um, for enemies, so that you can do multiple hits. And um, this is not all the way figured out, so I definitely need help from anyone who can figure this out. Uh, here, I'll show you what's going on right now. Alright, so I go over here and I shoot and there we go and we killed the enemy with four hits now here's the health bar um, I would ignore basically the layering right here because um, it really doesn't matter uh, I think that the layering is based off of the layer layers of these three objects down here which I have basically set up their enemy bullets and so I'm shooting the bullets and they are um, taking damage here, I'll show you the parenting here so they're taking damage for the enemy and they are attached to the enemy uh, right now it is uh, here we'll turn this off to make it a little simpler um, my enemy is right here and then I'm going from the enemy to the shield or slash enemy bullet uh, so we'll click here on the enemy bullet and then the enemy bullet is tied to the decoration. Um, this sequence allows for the decoration to show how much to show how much um, health health is left for the enemy, basically how many shots you have left, um, as well as um, you know just providing a very normal uh, health bar. The problem that obviously that we're having is this is all rotating with physics when I turn the physics off or if I change these from phys physics to fixed then this does not disappear so I'm not sure exactly how to fix that uh, you you will notice though that I have spawner turned off on all of these I also have linear linear velocity set to zero so that these don't move um, these will move with the enemy if the enemy has uh, any velocity set to it. I set this up before. I had these three stacked in front and had them stacked with um, with physics. So when I shot the enemy, these things, if I didn't shoot these first, these dropped in front at me, uh, which really made it kind of exciting and a little more challenging because I had specific targets I had to hit. Now, I think if, if you were to do this creatively, you could make these... Um, enemy bullets as part of the covers over your enemy so you would hit it and you'd knock off a helmet like one would be a helmet and you would set the uh, this is probably important to show um, the default animation if you offset this and then you take your collision shape and you were to stretch it doesn't want to respond right now um, but you were to stretch your your shapes here you could put a collision shape in an interesting place at least I I think that would work uh, I think I just screwed all this up all right let's put this back all right so this gives us a chance to do a whole bunch of really interesting things with our enemies multiple hits um, shooting off parts of the enemy uh, by making them stagnant bullets. Uh, really what I was shooting for was creating a health bar. Uh, so if anyone knows how to get the health part, health bar to not rotate, that would be fantastic. I would love to hear back from you guys. Definitely one of the coolest parts of this whole thing is you can do headshots. So I'm going to show what that looks like here. I go over here and I jump and hit him right in the head and the whole thing uh, he dies instead of with four shots with just one headshot uh, also these it, I'm sure this is probably fairly understood but these can be made invisible pretty easily you default animation and then image and turn this opacity to zero hit save 
and go back and this will disappear and it'll have exactly the same function so if you want your enemy to look like a regular enemy you don't want any of these health bars you can do that very easily just by turning off the animation or getting rid of these um, a lot of options here for you guys to play with alright thanks for watching you guys